What's up guys? Welcome back to Images by Mark Mendoza. I'm Mark Mendoza. On today's video, um, I kind of want to get into learning a new skill. And while I was thinking about learning this new skill, I was thinking about how fashion has evolved. And as a consumer, as we all are, but as a consumer in the fashion world space, um, it's hard not to feel conflicted in this idea of me buying clothes contributes to uh, the climate change that's happening in the world today and not getting too deep into that but i just been thinking about how can i stop or how can i minimize my contribution in that space while still being in that space right and there are a lot of companies now that have made pledges uh, to change their process to minimize their you know, uh, contamination in the world. Um, but we can all do our own parts, right? And so for me, for example, I've stopped shopping at fast fashion places like Zara and H&M. And it's hard to do that because they make clothes that are in, in the moment. And so if you just want something that's trendy and don't want to spend a lot of money on an actual, you know, fashion designer piece, then that's where you would go is to a Zara or H&M. But they have they mass produce so much clothes every single month that it's they're just a big player and a big problem in this industry. And you know, there are times where obviously I do shop those stores and those times are usually around when uh, those stores collab with major designers. For example, the last time I shopped at Zara was when I did the collab with Rude where I purchased the jacket. And you know, I still feel a little bit guilty, but it's just one of those things where like, if you are in the space of fashion, you know, you appreciate those things and you want those things. But you know, I try to do my part and I, and I don't shop there for the most part. And when you think about that word fast fashion, right? It's like, how did we get there? It's crazy to think because back in the day, brands made clothes to last forever, right? They actually made clothes so that you, you were not a repeat customer, you know, like, Brands like Levi's and Carhartt and Dickies and, you know, there are those are workwear clothes, but they make clothes to last forever. You bought one, two, three pairs of pants, a shirt, some boots, and you were good for a very, very long time. And it's kind of crazy to think how fashion has just evolved dramatically over the years. And even when it comes to like luxury items, you know, this is where this is where the idea of luxury items also came from is you know these beautiful handcrafted well-made items that are supposed to last forever and i think a lot of a lot of the times people nowadays confuse the concept of luxury with things that last forever that don't break which is not the case because luxury items break they're made by human hands like there's no way that they're going to last forever however luxury items are repairable which is why they are able to last forever like if you think about custom-made suits shoes um where the soles are you know resolable but the the leather uppers stay the same uh watches handbags these things these materials that are that are picked out to make these beautiful items are meant to last forever but they are also meant to be repaired so that they can last forever and so with all of that said i want to learn how to sew i want to learn how to mend my own clothes how to hem my own pants how to fix holes and things of all that nature. And learning this skill will also help me break into the world of making and possibly designing my own clothes, which has always been an idea in my head, uh, but because I've never ever sewn like that or have made clothes like that, I've never really pursued it. And I think, you know, why not start now? So with that, I am gonna learn a new skill. I'm gonna learn how to sew. I'm gonna start with uh, a basic sewing kit and I'm going to learn how to sew on a favorite pair of Nike running shorts that I've had for forever because uh, they do last forever. I probably have had these for close to 15 years now to be honest. Um, but as of recently uh, through all the washings and such, um, one of the, the seams on the back has uh, caused a hole in it right there. <laughs> uh, so luckily it is on the seam so it's not like a hole repair. But I'm going to watch a couple of YouTube videos and kind of get the basics down and hopefully sew this back together. Um, if any of the videos that I watch, 
I feel like are pretty good and could help anyone else. I'll link them in the description below. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I mean, this whole clip right here is just to say that we, if you're watching this video, you're probably into fashion as I am. You're into clothes, you're into style, we're into beautiful things. It's just how we've evolved in society. And I think it's okay to still be that way, but I think we have to do our part in, in trying to make the climate better uh, for future generations so that they can also be in this in this space. And I also think it's, it's a great way for the industry to evolve and to see, you know, how we can still make beautiful things with maybe less items or less materials and less impactful to the world, which a lot of companies have been doing, especially now in 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020 especially now in 2022. Uh, the next clip will probably be me sewing uh, and hopefully mending these shorts back together. All right, okay, so these are the shorts. Uh, this is the area where it needs to be fixed. Uh, so obviously, we need to turn this inside out. So, we're gonna, so what you're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna wanna enter in uh, here. And just kind of like follow this stitching. Not the same pattern essentially because uh yeah all right so let's get this needle going uh i'm probably gonna need a good thing Tight at the very end, the other side. I definitely got too much thread. <laughs> you should watch a YouTube video on how to tie a knot. What I did was I'm going around it, I'm going through it like this. Let's see if I can start this one over. Obviously my first time stitching here. Uh, obviously not as pretty as this, but this is also most likely done uh, by a sewing machine. Uh, so I'm just trying to fix the whole all together. So I'm coming close to the bottom part of here. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, 
know, I just gotta put this all up. but the hole is fixed and I can wear the shorts again. All right, so as you saw, I didn't do a great stitch job, but I think the whole point is, is that I fixed the hole so that I can wear these shorts again. So I'm very proud of myself, to be honest. I mean, I just saw it was sloppy, it wasn't clean, I wasn't really trying to get it done, really. And obviously, uh, I did have a, Kind of a line to follow but overall i'm pretty satisfied i think i'm gonna work on uh stitching a little bit more uh, maybe practice on some just like regular thread is kind of like getting a nice pattern going nice and slow learn a bunch of different stitches but uh but let's see how long this holds up uh, these are some of my favorite shorts that i've had for a very very long time so that's the video guys uh like i said i made this video uh for a couple different reasons one is to learn a new skill, to possibly uh, dive into making my own clothes and designing my own clothes. Uh, two is to, you know, uh, do my part in uh, reducing um, the waste uh, that is attributing to the climate change that, that is happening. And uh, three, to show that like things can last forever as long as you take care of them. And part of taking care of things sometimes involves fixing and repairing them. Just because it breaks doesn't mean it's broken forever. It just needs a little TLC. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if you guys like these types of videos. Uh, like I mentioned in my past video, um, this channel will start to evolve into a lot of different creative content, uh, but all around the world of fashion, style, and clothes. And I hope you guys come back and see me. Thanks so much for watching.